Well, good morning, guys. We are on a day trip. Um, I'm stuck at a stoplight. I'm still in congested traffic. It is about 7.55 in the morning, and I'm on my way out of town. Uh, again, just for the day. I gotta be back in time to pick my kids up from school, but we are headed out to a place called, um, I think the official name is Gator Hole. It's up in the Green Swamp area, and um, some people call it Gator Pond, and you'll hear some cars behind me again. We're in that hustle bustle of the traffic. Um, I think it's officially called Gator Hole. Some people call it Gator Pond. It is off of Highway 471 and it is part of the um, uh, Florida Trail. So we will be parking and jumping on the Florida Trail. When I say we, it's just me today. Um, it's a weekday. Um, that's the joy of owning your own business and being able to slip out every now and then, even though I probably should be working. Um, I'll work a little bit through, through the phone and that sort of thing. But yeah, we're heading out there. Um, and what the reason I'm going out there on just a day hike, first of all, it's nice to get out every now and then, but I got a trip I'm trying to plan with my son and my nephew coming up um, the week after Christmas. And so um, we had reserved Colt Creek, which is a state park in that same exact area. And we're hammock campers. So all three of us will be hanging hammocks. Um, that's what we sleep in when we go out. Uh, most trips, sometimes we'll do a tent if we bring the rest of the family. But um, Someone mentioned that they didn't think Colt Creek, the site we were looking at, was conducive to hammocks. There wasn't enough trees around in that immediate area on the designated site. So someone recommended Gator, Gator Pond, Gator Hole. Um, so I am going out to check that out. I have it reserved. I have both of them reserved. And um, so the ethical thing to do is get out there today, look at and confirm which one I want and get the other one back open so that other people can scoop that up and enjoy it. Because obviously I know I'm only going to be using one. So. Um, here in a few hours, we'll be canceling one of the two and um, we'll lock in where we're going for Christmas. So stick around for the ride. Well, I'm not sure if this is a good idea before a hike. I'm not saying I recommend it, but we're going to do it. What can I get for you? Uh, number two, please, with Diet Coke. Good morning. Good morning. There we go. Thank you. Diet Coke. Awesome. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Thanks. I bet I get a lot of comments on this one. Bring them. I told you in the beginning that I don't recommend it. And I showed you that I was doing it anyway, but we'll see what everyone thinks about a McDonald's breakfast before a day hike on a Florida trail. Maybe we'll see if Casper's company, my friend Bob Canigliaro works over at Casper's company and um, they own, I don't know, 50, 60 McDonald's in the area. But anyway, I stopped at Casper's company McDonald's today on my way to the Green Swamp. Hey Bob, by the way, if you're watching this um, little McDonald's portion of my video maybe we could make let's think let's put our marketing hats on maybe we could make this a tradition where you could give me a voucher for a free breakfast and every time I go out to the woods or do my day hike or you know make one of these videos I started I started off by stopping at McDonald's or I wrap up by you know having a nice cheeseburger meal and fries and McFlurry or McRib or six piece nugget dipped in hot mustard followed by a double cheeseburger. Maybe we could make some arrangement like that. Reach out to me, Bob. Tell me your thoughts. 
bump, bump, bumpity, bump, bump, look at Frosty go. Bumpity, bump, bump, over the hills of snow. All right, there went about 100 subscribers. All right, we're off. Lots and lots of hog activity out here. One thing Green Swamp's definitely known for, lots of hogs. This part of the Florida Trail is so beautiful because you can see so far out each side, but it's not necessarily like a prairie. It's fairly thick woods, but you can walk almost any direction out here left or right and just wander off in there and I don't know if you're supposed to camp but you could camp it's always interesting to walk in the woods and hear the sound of traffic going by fade behind you I don't know if you can hear it but the trucks are still going by out there by the parking area we parked on a main road in the designated parking area and walked in here and the further you get back, the more peaceful it gets because you lose that traffic sound. I had just stopped the camera and took a few more steps and spooked some deer. They gone. Now it's getting a little thicker.
Found this just laying on the ground. You can tell it's been raining. It's damp out here, definitely wet. But this is, ma uh, I call it magic wood. This is fat wood. So this is the, you can kind of see the, the sap from the pine. I'm gonna shave this up and use it to help me start my fire. All right, so I think this is about a 1.2 mile walk in here. Um, you can still, I don't know if you can hear it on camera, but every now and then when a louder truck or a semi goes by, you can still hear the highway out there. Um, we're not directly 1.2. We came in and then made a kind of a curve to go parallel with the highway. Again, it's still a ways out behind us. But a real nice campsite, the Florida Trail is out all behind out here where we walked in. Um, I did walk down it that way a little bit. I was looking at a pond. Um, by the way, 
if you don't follow, if you're on Facebook and you, you dig this type of stuff, first of all, would love for you to subscribe to the channel and give it a thumbs up, but also on face that's on YouTube, my channel, The Outdoors with Rich. But if you're on Facebook, check out Florida Bushcraft. Um, that's how I learned about this site. Um, there's so much information out there. And, you know, I was actually going to go visit Colt Creek and a guy said, and I'm going to try to tag his name in here because I appreciate the tip because I am going to come here instead of Colt Creek with my kids. But Florida Bushcraft, go to Florida Bushcraft. There's somewhere between 3,500 and 4,000 people on there, um, all, you know, from the Florida area or enjoy visiting Florida that do this type of stuff. Some hike further, some don't hike at all, and they're just truck camping. Some are really into bushcraft. Some, you know, make their own knives and equipment and, and just all kinds of different cool stuff on there. But if you want to know information, first of all, I'd encourage you to search the site before you just go asking because people, you know, if we like, well, we've talked about that 15 times in the past six months, search for it. So you could search, for example, Gator Pond or Gator Hole or Colt Creek or anywhere. They do a lot in Ocala. But anyway, that's how I found out about this site, but it's pretty cool. Um, there's my chair I set up. There's my fire going. You guys saw me put my Stanley cup on there. I'm going to get some um, water going for uh, some ramen, but just trying to give you a little idea. There's um, one picnic table here. There's another picnic table back there. So there's two picnic tables and that big old fire pit. They make the fire pit so high probably so people don't, you know, things tumble out, you know, and they leave it irresponsibly and it leaves the place on fire or something like that. That obviously would be a catastrophe, but they don't have many holes in the side of it and it really makes it tough to get air through there but other than that it's a really spacious site i am going to go on florida bushcraft and ask the guys if they've ever you know fetched water out of that pond that i just saw up there it looked a little it looked okay um i think it's going to be good but it's it's always better to get you know advice from people who've, who've been here plenty of time So I left some wood here. Matter of fact, someone had, someone was kind enough to leave some wood, um, a couple pieces setting out that I ended up using to make my fire. I don't really need this for heat or anything. I wanted to cook my lunch on it. I wanted to continue, you know, starting fires from just raw materials from the wood using a ferro rod. So I got all that accomplished. Um, some nice pieces cut up and I'll just leave them on that shelf so that if someone comes out here, you know, there's not, at least there's a few pieces of wood that weren't saturated on the ground. I always wonder if I'm going to tumble out of these chairs. I think they're sturdy. I just think they sink into the ground a little bit. I did ask for a one with a little bit higher back for Christmas. This one's my son's, so you'll probably see this one back out here on our next video, um, or at least on our next trip out here. But um, these chairs are nice. They add weight to your pack. Uh, I know we have a picnic table. I didn't know we had a picnic table, but um, it's nice to have these things out here and. Just have a place to pop your butt and get up off the ground. So this trail system goes a long way. I mean, obviously the Florida Trail goes the whole state of Florida, and this is part of the Florida Trail. But um, it goes up through here quite a ways. I think, you know, I'm about 1.2 miles in, you know, by, by the trail, by following the trail. I think it goes 10 or 15 miles in this part of the woods, in this particular park, if you will. 
I mean, if you want to go further, you could absolutely, there's a map up front that shows you, um, I think there's three different primitive sites up in here. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm kind of taking a look, you know, for that upcoming camping trip. But if you guys like to go further and want to, you know, trek in, I don't know the exact miles, you'd have to look it up. But I feel like looking at the map, you could probably do a seven mile, a 10 mile, a 15 mile. Um, there's a nice parking lot out there. It's off of 471. Uh, there was one other car there at the time. Today's a Thursday, so, you know, I imagine on the weekends there's more. You do have to reserve these sites through Swift Mud. There's a site um, to go to. Um, they're free, but you do have to reserve them. So just letting you know that this trail does continue on for quite a ways. And so if you like more of that distance and getting way back further in there, there are other campsites deeper up in there. All right, Gator Pond, until we see you again in three or four weeks. Hopefully someone will get out here and enjoy this between now and then. And um, we're ready to get back on the trail. One of the things I didn't talk about was the mosquitoes. You guys didn't see it on the video, but I walked, I don't know, 50 yards down the trail when I originally got out of my truck and immediately turned back to go get some mosquito repellent. Um, Oh, here's the sign. And that's why some people call it Gator Hole. Oh, wait, I said, why do some people call it Gator Pond? But it is officially called Gator Hole. On the map, on Google Maps, and on here. Anyway, back to my mosquito story. The mosquitoes were so bad that I immediately turned back, and that's in the cooler part of the day. So I went back and got some... Um, uh, mosquito spray and then I got out here mosquitoes either the spray is working so good or I don't know what's going on but they didn't bother me at all um, the flies were a little bit a little bit annoying but um, and it's hot out here I mean I'm in t-shirt and shorts I don't know if you guys can see that how's it going good, how are you? good so we just had a fellow hiker go by but the so anyway Mosquitoes weren't bad out here at all. Either that or that spray was working so good, but I, I I don't know what's going on. There is water around. There's a little bit of water right here next to me. I'm still fairly close to the campsite. Um, this is that L-shaped pond you'll see on the Google Maps. But um, so anyway, I would definitely bring mosquito spray out here if you're going to be out here in the warmer weather, but it wasn't that bad with the amount of water around. So again, there's the campsite over there. You can see the sign. And right here in front of the camp is some water. I think that could be filtered for sure. But I'm going to get a second opinion on it. This trail is interesting how it goes from kind of wide open. Look at that oak hammock. And the trail is going right up through there. It is just beautiful out here. Man, look where that deer has been getting after that tree. Big old buck's been working that thing, or back in the, earlier in the season anyway. Alright guys, I'll say goodbye here. Um, I appreciate you watching. Watch for a more in-depth video of this same location. In about a few weeks maybe three or four weeks um, my son so I'm bringing my son and my nephew out here and we're gonna stay two nights and do a hammock camp 
trip out here, bring our food out, have some good meals, that sort of thing. But appreciate you guys watching. I'm saying goodbye before we get up to the noisy road. Um, and then figures as I'm doing this, a helicopter is coming over. But uh, appreciate you guys watching. If you enjoyed this, give us give a thumbs up if you'd like to see something different or um, want to make any comments, please do so. Uh, please subscribe and we'll see you at the next one. Thanks for watching.